Hey everybody, Kayak Mike 262 and we're talking kayak fishing. Okay, when it comes to kayak fishing, my favorite type of fishing is uh, kokanee fishing, uh, landlocked sockeye salmon. And in the Pacific Northwest, uh, they're in all the deeper reservoirs and lakes, or most of them anyway. Um, the number one bait you go to uh, that you tip your uh, your wedding ring lures and your squid lures is shoe peg corn. Uh, not just any type of corn, but shoe peg corn. Um, the shape uh, fits well and it's a little tougher corn that stays, uh, stays on the hook. And then you scent it or cure it um, with different products. Um, however, I started just using ANSI oil. And uh, you can get it on the internet uh, or you can buy it at any of the fish store, uh, fishing stores. Um, but I've since switched to uh, the Garlic Bloody Tuna. Um, and I'm going to mix up a batch for you and show you how I do it. Okay, so if you're new to kokanee fishing and uh, you want to know what to use, well, let me tell you, it's pretty simple. It's shoe peg corn. Um, I grew up hearing about people using corn all the time. Uh, I just didn't know that they used it for kokanee, but uh, that was one of the first things I learned. Uh, so white shoe peg corn um, is what you want to get. And of course it comes in a pretty decent sized can. I break it down into small baggies and then I freeze what I don't use uh, so you don't have to throw the whole can away. And then what I do is, uh, here's a batch I made for this weekend, but uh, it's real simple. You take a little bit of your shoe peg corn and uh, you put it in your container. And for scent, I use uh, garlic bloody tuna. Um, I've been using it all year on a tip from uh, one of the guys that's been doing it for years and uh, this is my go-to stuff. Now it is, let me tell you, this stuff smells, but uh, it annoys the crap out of the kokanee. So what you do is you put your shoe peg corn in here, take this and just give it a little bit of a soaking there, not too much, and then I uh, close it up and shake it up and that's my batch that's what it looks like that's my batch for this weekend um, you don't need a lot um, shoot peg corn is small and it doesn't take much now this is a batch i've been using all summer and it turns rubbery after a while but let me tell you it still works um, i just put some drops in here to kind of freshen it up a little bit and uh, it'll be fine i used to use just ansi oil and there are a lot of people that still do it um, but uh, I, I'm a fan of the, the garlic bloody tuna. So there you go. Get out there and uh, catch some kokanee.